Tonight on News West 9 at 6, we've learned a whistleblower lawsuit is in the process of being filed in the city of El Paso. And the new Midland City manager, Tommy Gonzalez, will be named in that complaint. Now, you'll remember Gonzalez previously worked as the city manager in El Paso before coming here. Now, Christina, you've spoken with a person who is planning on filing this lawsuit. Yeah, Crystal, I did have the chance to speak with Edmundo Caldron. He is the chief internal auditor for the city of El Paso, and he's been that for 19 years. Years. Caldron is now accusing Midland's current city manager, Tommy Gonzalez, of retaliation and intimidation during his time as the city manager of El Paso prior to coming to Midland. You know what I want? I want to be treated fair. That's what I want. I want to be treated fair, and that's what I'm not getting. After alleged retaliation from former El Paso city manager Tommy Gonzalez and treatment by other city staff members, Edmundo Caldron has started the process of filing a whistleblower lawsuit against the city of El Paso. This letter here was sent to the city of El Paso's mayor and city attorney on July 21st by Caldron's attorney, Laura Enriquez. It details how Caldron noticed some El Paso city council members were using taxpayer dollars by abusing their gas card privileges in his review. According to the letter, when Caldron brought his findings to Gonzalez, he felt intimidated and dismissed by him. All I can tell you is the way I was treated was very very mean it was mean it, it was it was it was terrible it was terrible okay and it was to the point that it was cruel mm -hmm. i was just doing my job that's all i, I mean that's about the best way i can put it i was doing my job as a city auditor for El Paso. so that with the way i was treated is totally wrong this is a clip from the special city council meeting on May 11th, where Caldron went over the internal audit review. In it, he's asked by the mayor if he felt pressured. Do you believe that you were ever pressured or felt that you were someone was trying to intimidate you at any point? All right. I'd rather not answer, Mayor. Anyone from council? I'd rather not answer. Okay. You know why I didn't answer? Because I had a job to do, okay? And I needed to report it. And then I knew if I said anything, the story would then become about me. I didn't want it to be about me. I needed to report the facts to our taxpayers. That's why I didn't say anything. Now, again, no lawsuit has been filed just yet at this time. We did reach out to the city of Midland and Tommy Gonzalez for a comment on this matter. We still have not heard back yet at this time.